Okay, flower ladies, here we go. Would you be so kind as to bring me the contents of the black box? What black box? Green box? Red box? Blue box? Green box? Blue box? Red box? Black box? What? What? My biggest fears are meat and palm grenades. Meat is red, violets are blue. Flowers that tell lies have bad memories. Memory, I mean. That is. Okay. Black box, blue box, green box. Yellow box. What am I supposed to do? Flower lady, I need help. Um, is there another door in here? Doesn't seem like it, huh? I don't want to try if they do anything. All right, okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, we couldn't open this one before. Well done, Felix. Um, we are. Uh, you hungry? Black box, blue box, red box. Yes. A fancy brooch. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, lying flowers. God damn it. Um, flowers? Flower ladies, did I did I do correct? You want blue box, yellow box, yellow box? I hand the item to the flower lady. Why thank you. Here you can have my old fashioned brooch. I don't need it anymore. I attach the brooch to my ribbon. It emits a faint light. We can use the pin attached to it. Oh yes we can. Oh you're so smart, Felix. You are so smart. Oh shit. Alright, let's stick let's stick the pin in here. So we have a needle now. Cross your heart and hope to die, stick a needle in the eye. The eye bleeds. I don't care. Everything caution me way off the three eyed. Oh the executioners, huh? Instruction. Put a friend unit one pieces in the incinerator and push the on button. No! Go in. Just kidding. Yet another cliche. I thought there would be volunteers. Let's push Felix in. The past four is supposed to of your friend unit. Okay, we need a friend. We need a friend we can sacrifice. Use the pincher. Gouges the door's eye out. The door opens. Uh, where are we? There we are. We need a friend. We are... Uh, what? Felix, you stay on here because then this dot down here disappears. Seems like the passage opens when something heavy is standing on the block. So you are saying that one of us has to stay here. And the other will search for another way out. That's right. You shouldn't get separated, but... But we have to, I guess. But, no, we have to. We have to do it. You stay. Take what? Receive medical scissors. Though I'm afraid Seth will make me throw them out on the first opportunity. I'll be back soon. See you later. Later, Gator. Let's go. Well, this isn't hard. The drones were harder. Now, let's see. What do we have here? I guess the drones were harder. I don't know. Easy schmeasy. Oh, look. There's a safe, safe point. I want to go there. How do I get there? Damn it. 
All right. See you, Felix. Exit. All right. It's a tic-tac-toe game. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait. What? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Okay, all right, I see it. Oh, yes, this is... Oh, Felix, I'm so... Oh, so... Too bad you're not here. Too bad you can't witness this. I'm wasting time here. Wonder Felix is all right. We left him all alone. I'm worried, too. As expected from Seth the Worry Ward. <coughs> Turn back to the side. Don't worry, don't worry, Felix is alright. He's a big boy. He, uh, he, he can take care of himself. You just have to find the right door that leads to. Oh shit, there's so many. Oh no! Felix is gone! No, they ate him! Oh no, Felix! Oh no. Door is half open. No, wait. Oh no, Felix! Oh shit. I left him alone. Oh no, it's all my fault. No! Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Oh fuck you! I've always wondered what rabbits have inside their bellies. I am this surprised. It wasn't cotton. God damn it. I was too late. Again? The girl approaches me, leaving the boy like a toy she lost interest in. Why, hello, dear guest. The girl touches my cheek with a blood soaked hand. Why are you so sad? Does it hurt anywhere? Come here, I'll sing you a get better song. Pain, pain, go away. Don't come back the other day. Run or run or run or run. He's not even a person. What are you saying? Ah, uh, I get it. We just have to switch the channel to make everything right. Hey, who are you talking to? There's no one but me. The very next moment the girl looks at me as if she sees me for the first time. Let's play hide and no, let's not. I close my eyes and count to 60. Make sure you find a good place to hide. Or else, you're it. One, two... Holy fuck! What? In here? Oh shit! Oh no. Oh! Let's go. Oh, fuck me gently. No. Don't worry, we got this. Felix, you sucked, but I will succeed. Fuck. Where is a good place to hide? Is there anything else in here? There's no place to hide. Where are you? You didn't count to 60 yet, bitch. I want to be got it alive. Please, please kill me before she does, Seth. You're out of your mind. Can't you see? It's a bad end for me. Unless you rewind time and dead one way or another. I still have the scissors Flix gave me. You know what to do, right? No. No. I don't. Hold on. What? Hold on. Scissors, hold on. No! Ah. No, I wanted to. What? Umbrella man's afternoon tea time. What is going on? The meat is not yet rotten, but the body is hollow. Yet another unsightly death. This is no good. Not only you've led the girl to a wrong path, you've completely lost control of her actions and been manipulated by her. I cannot congratulate you on such an embarrassment of an ending. I am deeply sorry for my inappropriate behavior as a puppeteer. I hereby request you to grant me another chance. It's quite a bold request, dear boy. I'll grant it, however. Death can be rather amusing. Try as many times as you'd like. Why? 
What the fuck? Felix! Felix! Oh my god, you're alive! Oh my god, Felix. Don't worry. Don't worry, Felix. We will we will find a way out of here. Don't worry. I will keep you alive. This time I will stay and you do something. I will stay. You're not going alone, of course. My puppeteer will go with you to ensure your well-being, right? Sure, I knew you'd understand. Just be careful. Wait a moment, I'll check on Charlotte. All right. Huh? Hi. Isn't it dangerous for a little girl to wander around here all alone? I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, that's a pity they won't make it in time as you will meet your death in ten minutes. Uh, that'd be bad. Seth will get fired if I die without him by my side. Is that all to it? I don't want to cause any problems. Well, well, aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he dies shortly after. There is one way to save your friend, however. The masked man whispers something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods? It's the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. The man pats Charlotte's head. Don't blame yourself for a single thing, child. Well then. What? What? It doesn't matter. Ten minutes. Alright, Felix, maybe you are... Got me back. Please. Sure. Uh, human body is such a fragile thing. I can't just apologize if I accidentally break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? All oh, this junk is no good. What are we? Who are we? Scissors? Not bad, but not the best option either. Such a shame, I'll get this pretty di dress dirty. Hi, do you want to play hide and seek with me and my friends? You go away. You see, I'm really bored. That's right, let's play a game. Bottom's the worst, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> Open your eyes, here come the scissors. Yeah, stab her. Stab her, good. We stabbed ourselves? Why? What? But... Who is this person? What was I? I just have to switch the channel to make everything all right, right? Hey. So we um. Don't make me a murderer. So we exchanged. We gave our body to this guy, uh, in exchange for doing horrible things. That goes against our grains, against the grains of our entire being. It sounds fine to me. At least we're not helpless anymore, huh? Switch channel to rewind time for her. Nah, not gonna do it, I'm sorry. Charlotte isn't here, I know where she is. She's killing people. Yo, Felix Seth, here you are. Good thing you're safe and sound. Are you hurt anywhere? And what in the world are you stuffing into the incinerator? Ah, the blood isn't mine. While you were away, I figured I'd stuff meat chunks we saw earlier in here. Is that so? Are you alright? Yeah, sorry for worrying you. Jeez, I was worried about you. But here you are, covered in blood and more obnoxious, cheerfully, cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait... You were worried about me? That's something new. You make it sound like I'm a jerk. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You're truly my friend. I'm a puppeteer, not a friend, you dumb. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Then you're the best puppeteer ever. Let's go, everyone. Okay. Oh, I'm a safe. Oh my god. Are we really, like, really super badass now? 
Turn it on! Burn it! Charlotte? Hey, are you really alright? You're spacing out. It's nothing. Liar. Fine, you don't have to tell me what happened. Take my hand. Yay! She's shaking. Let's go! More channels! No, don't, don't, don't. Hey, Felix. Yes? Can you tell me more about what we're looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I try to understand. Well, all I know is that the people here are called Pythias. Pythias? Who were created by an oracle whom they call their god. At least used to. Pythias are extremely powerful. They can alter reality to their will, which most likely resulted in different dimensions being created. From what I've gathered, every species perceives them differently. Otherwise, they wouldn't look so, uh, so human. Right, to you. The last time I visited, there were much more of them, yet we barely met anyone on our way. This place is a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad happened. Oh my god, I, I, I cannot hear my voice dwindling. Contamination warning, organic tissue ahead. Ugh. Oh, oh no, Freya, Frey. Great, a dead Pythia. Poor thing. More dead. Some more, they all look the same. We probably look the same to them as well, you know. There's so many of them. Slaughterhouse. Enjoy the vacation with style, a bosa. It's always here when you need the most, comes with two blades. Cool, we're not taking that. Our weapon will come in handy though. Kids these days, oh, screw them. I can almost hear you sighing from the other side of the control console. Ways to find out if your neighbor is possessed by God. Shoot him and see what happens. Wow, great advice. The slaughterhouse too. She is us, we are her. Okay. Slaughterhouse 3. The third. There's no one in these rooms, only the corpses. Nothing? It got nothing on it? Okay. Maybe <laughs> she's just sleeping. Oh my god. Poor innocent child. What is going on? Oh, the executioners! No, they got me. Good body block, by the way, Felix. Not not bad. Okay, do not go in there. Can we outrun them? Probably not, huh? Slaughterhouse 4, 5. Okay, we have to go in here, don't we? We can make it. All right, we can make it. Run! Eight three. Eight three seven five two nine. Obtain the node. Run! Oh shit! Do we need this node? Or is it enough if we know the combination? I hope it is. Slaughterhouse 4. Uh, what? But I have six letters. Oh no. Oh no. The second?
fourth one oh the second is nine wait hold on the fourth is four the second is nine and a five one 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 is the fourth the second is nine it's a four four the first so it's four okay we just need we had the fifth somewhere right Oh wait, there was there was something. Slaughterhouse six. No, there was. Oh fuck. No, but the third. There we go. It's an eight. All right. Four nine eight one. Screw those executioners. Screw them. Let's see. Four, nine, eight, one. Yay, let's get one. Follow a mask obtained. Get one today for free. Executioner mask. Puts the cute into execute. An absolute must have for all ladies and gentlemen. How do I look? Rather menacing. Nice. Let's go. The bodies are gone. Oh no, they're not. Oops. Hold on. Eight, three, seven, five, two, nine. <laughs> oh my god, we're so smart. We didn't even need those masks. Christmas morning, you will be happier with a shotgun. Everyone is born to execute. Become an executioner today. Sign up for the God Hunt by calling us. Feeling oppressed? Your life is a wreck? You did nothing wrong. Get your revenge by joining the God Hunt today. Oh my god. Okay. An our family adventure. God Hunt. Buy our air-powered guns for an unforgettable fun experience. Weissman gun, barrels of fun. When you can't sleep, don't count sheep. Count on your chainsaw. Oh. So that's how they portray oracles here. She's beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have a physical form nor a gender. The one depicted here is no more than a young Pythian priestess. Well, okay. Fight for equality. I think I've heard something behind the door. I hope it's not executioners. Right now we are the executioners, remember? Hold on. Oh no. Any one of you alive? At least one? Oh my god, one is alive. She's still alive. Well, well, hello dear executioners. You're so tiny, yet you're the ones who came to end the life of our last child. How ironic. Come forth and swing your blade. Don't make us wait any longer. Um, I'm very sorry, but we won't harm you in any way. You won't? How come? Well, for starters, we are not ones of your kind. We take off our masks. The girl extends her weak hands to my face. Just two eyes. You are merely a traveler. Um, am I missing something? Hush. We are speaking to a real oracle, the creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. It's an honor to meet you. You seem to be a good child. We believe we've known your parent once. You should leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? She can no longer be saved. 
but we, we wish to be with our children until the very end. But there are only corpses. We should leave Charlotte. Right. Will we meet again? Seek and you shall find. Okay. Maybe we should take our masks on again, just, just in case. You know. Yay! Can we finally leave? Can we finally leave this godforsaken place? Somehow I have a feeling it'll be the last channel we visit. Oh, thank God. Well, it might not be far from truth. Well then, let's go. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things. Running away, putting you in danger, making you come here. I found what I was looking for, yet I feel no satisfaction at all. I didn't have the slightest idea of what happened in this place. I still don't. I thought Uncle would recognize my achievements if I wrote a paper on the oracles, a phenomenal entity. Yet this oracle in the universe reek of death. I was twenty billion years late. You must be thinking how meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. No... It's okay. Please stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much meaningless? We're so tiny, aren't we? Like worms or maggots, even. Yet we consider ourselves important and do everything to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventures with you. For me, it's like being with a friend. <laughs> what's up with absurd intellectual monologue? Don't try to seem smarter than you are, human maggot. Aren't we already friends? If you say so. What are we waiting for? Let's go in. Let's. Applause, applause. Welcome, welcome, dear guests. We were waiting for you. Now we can finally have a talk. Well then, did you enjoy the show? Was it, was it not to your liking? The show? Well, of course. All of the worlds you've visited. There used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. Now they have turned into mere recordings of the past glory. If I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago we used to be called a god, although we never were one. Our own children raised a knife on us. We used to have a thousand hands, yet they've cut off all, them all and now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with billion eyes of ours, yet they gouged out every single one, and now we are blind. We used to walk by leaps and bounds through the worlds we created, yet we can no longer make a single step as our legs were taken away. The creations we dearly love regardless of the deeds destroyed themselves, and now we are alone. Yet we forgave them for their sin, and we forgive you. You see, the universe we've created is dying. Nothing exists anymore. All we can do is indulge in the memories of the past, no matter how distorted they are. Soon we will fall apart, so with this land and those walking on it. That will be troubling. We absolutely have to come back by tomorrow's morning. Well, there is a way, human child. Do you wish to try? Well, like I have a choice. Input error. What do I have to do? Put your hands on the screen, would you? Are you sure about this? Well, there is no other way we can leave. Didn't you hear the oracle? You would not have listened to me either way, would you? Even though I don't want to cause trouble for anyone, in the end I'm quite a troublesome person, aren't I? I put my hands on the screen. This is a beautiful picture. I like it. The oracle... No, the god of this world puts the palms to match mine on the other side of the screen. I can only vaguely remember what happened next. I accepted the god in my heart and we walked home hand in hand. Everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became a part of me. Together we said goodnight to the dying world. All the life, the planets, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms have ceased to exist. One by one, the channel switched off.
Bjarke used my body as a vessel and used up all the remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it back home safely. Well, we were away, not a second pass in, the, in our world. That was quite a story, my dear. To personally meet an oracle, even a dying one. What a great luck you've run into. Well, who would have known? Do you always wear this creepy mask when you see me? I know you're using father's body as a container to talk to me anyway. Easy with your tongue, dear. I thought it would be incons inconsiderate of me to have a chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel, but if you insist... Oh, now we see him. How is he holding his teacup? Better now? Yep, much better. Your eyes have such a pretty color. Same, Mr. Umbrella Man. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to know the person I've met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because... I've committed an unim unimaginable sin, yet I vaguely can remember it, as if I watched it from the side. Your naivety never ceases to amuse me. Of course, we had to edit your source code shortly after you came back. I can't tell the truth, can I? You're talking as if, as if we're in a video game. How stupid! Most of the words are code-based, my dear. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memories were not were necessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming a part of you. I'm sure Mr. Seth will be greatly upset if you two go around causing havoc when he is looking. We both know I'm not like that, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> By the way, I'm rather surprised that you were able to contain a godlike entity without all of your life-supporting system collapsing. Probably she was too weakened to do that much damage to my body. What became of them now? She's still sleeping. I wish we talked more. Even after seeing her memories, I still don't know much about her. The oracles... What exactly are they, really? <clears throat> One could compare them to stars. Reaching the end of their lives, they gradually lose all their power and become infantile white dwarfs. Think for yourself. What a god could... What a god capable of creating new life... Think for yourself. Would a god capable of creating new life from zero care for such insignificant beings like you? Aren't you talking to me right now? Good one. <laughs> well, isn't that great that you've met a friend? Now take your pills and go to sleep. Wouldn't want you to nod off on the lessons, although they only postpone your unemployment status. Thanks for finding an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Umbrella Man. Good night, little Charlotte. We receive pills. Great. I can't move. Gotta take the pills first, sure. We have to do it here. Abilify. Oh. 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 What? What? What happened? I'm right up and what? Where is he? What happened? Oh my god, cat! Hi, my cat. No, wait. No, still not. I want to check the other rooms. I want to see. I'm too sleepy to run around. Let's sleep, Seth. No, I want to see. Where's Felix? Oh. All right, let's sleep. I want to see space fish in my dreams. Good night, Charlotte. Good night, Felix. Good night, Umbrella Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. Hey, first episode, thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed playing this game as much as I enjoyed making it. See you next time in episode 2. The answers will be there. So this was the first episode. So we did it. <coughs> awesome, I already got the second episode and we'll definitely play it. Um, I hope you still enjoyed it. And um, thank you for watching. And I see you back in episode 2. Thank you. Goodbye.